So as Tamaria was taking this ball out of the box, she said something, uh, what did you say? That that would make an interesting video. So I figured before we crush the ball, let's try to start a fire. Oh. All right, here it goes. Let's see, where's the sun at? Where's the sun Oh yeah, that's hot. I guess it may start a fire if we get it just right. I mean, it's pretty bright, I can't even look at it. That takes a little bit too much coordination. All right, so as you can see, don't use a glass ball to start a fire. Use a magnifying glass. And before we actually crush it, I just want to tell you really fast why we're doing this crush over again. Because the biggest complaint that we had from the viewers was that it just happened too fast. This time, we're going to be using the V2512 brand new camera from Vision Research. This is the world's fastest slow motion HD camera. So we're going to refilm this at 30,000 frames a second in HD. That's all I got to say. Enjoy it. Before we put our 80 millimeter glass ball in here, I have to wipe off all this glass dust while we do a smoke ceremony for the glass ball we're about to crush. All right, so we got our 80 millimeter crystal ball set in place. Um, it's perfectly centered. And we're going to do this right now at about 30,000 frames a second. So that was our 80 millimeter ball and uh, I'm thinking that our hydraulic press might be getting messed up because that one took about 20, I don't know, about 18 tons. I really didn't see the gauge. We're going to get the gauge on the next one, but now it's stuck, it's stuck at like five or six tons and the piston came out a bit, <clears throat> but uh, let me release it and see if it releases. This is kind of how we messed up our other hydraulic press. Yeah, this is going back and as you just saw, our plate flew on the ground somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Look, our plate flew there and there's a lot of glass dust. So that being said, the next shot that you're going to see, we're going to do something really interesting. I don't know where our polarizer filters are, but we're going to take this glass ball and we're going to get some polarized light going through it. And then we got another polarizer on the camera. And what that's supposed to do, I haven't actually done it yet. It's supposed to show you the stress in the glass. So we'll see if it really works. If it doesn't work, who cares? We're gonna just shoot this at a higher frame rate and it's gonna look cool anyway. Jesus Christ. So it looks like the polarizing idea, the double polarizers, it didn't work in this case because 
for one, we have a lot of stray light coming in from the sides, and I think that's affecting the way it's all working. And, and two, we're going to need a big polarizer to polarize the light that's coming into the ball. Three, I think we can make it work, but we would have to mount this glass ball into a, a polarizing tube. So the only light entering is polarized light, and the only light exiting the tube would be polarized light, therefore showing the stress in the glass. That's not going to happen right now. Tell us what you think in the comments below about that, but we're not going to do that now. But the clip we are going to show you is definitely lit in a creative way in ultra high speed at the highest frame rate that we can get. So enjoy it. So I thought that looked really, really awesome. And uh, we're at the end of our day here. And Tamaria, she found another glass ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that previous clip. We're gonna reshoot this with this glass ball that Tamaria found. This time in 4K, it's not gonna be as slow as the other one. I think the other one was, uh, what was it, it 30,000 frames a second? Mm -hmm. Or was it faster? No, it's 30,000. 30. So it's not gonna be as slow as the uh, HD 30,000 frames a second, but it is gonna be in 4K. So you tell me what you think in the comments below about this clip. But I think it's gonna look pretty mesmerizing. Now that was our fourth or fifth ball crush in the hydraulic press. The, we're gonna call it the ball crusher. So our gauge was stuck at five tons, but after that last uh, little ball we crushed, the black and white one, it's now stuck at 10 tons. And I think that that last ball crush that we did was probably the most violent one that we've had. Uh, I mean, there's nothing but powder left over here look on the floor i mean it literally pulverized it and if you watch it it kind of made like a little tornado around the the piston but and i didn't walk away unscathed i got an injury i got a little blood blister because my finger got caught in between this handle right here but other than that our light just turned off and so did our episode that's all we have for you today thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and tell us what you think in the comments below and look out for our live streams and all that good stuff. And keep in mind, if you have anything that you wanna see filmed in slow motion or ultra slow motion, drop us a line, let us know what it is. We'll film it and post it right here in this series. And hopefully you'll join us again soon on Warp Perception.